Welcome back to B Varsity Live. Uh, into the last hour, almost, almost one more, uh, one more segment will be in the last hour of six here uh, for the B Varsity Super Show, and we are with Darren Carr of Bakersfield Christian. Year two for Darren Carr. That seems to be a, a theme here on on Thursday that we have these second year coaches, and and you know you just sort of mentioned it to me in the break that yeah. the second year is so much easier just in the oh, details. Man. Oh, I mean, just the details. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but no, no. yeah, no. Uh, when you first get here, you're like, okay, cool, I'm the head coach now. All right, and now everyone wants to talk to you. Everyone wants you to do this or that. Schedules, kids, parents. I mean, it just, it just, it's nuts. Right. Yeah. You know? and, and, and you're I'm overwhelmed. Like, I just want to coach bit. football, man. <laughs> you know? Do me a favor, Darren, get right on that mic for yep. us. And, and we'll, up. yeah, we'll, uh, uh, we'll kind of go into that. But it's also, uh, you know, your players know you, you know the players now. Yeah. So it's not just the details either. I mean, they, no. they are into your system now. And that's what's huge, too. Like just being on campus. Like I'll have, you know, some prep periods. Kids can come in if they have off periods or they come in for lunch. And, you know, it's nice that they can come in and just kind of get to know you. You can get to know them. And it's nice just to get, you know, and they, and they know your system. They know they can, they know they know it better than you do sometimes, you know. And then that's you take that and you just build on top of that, obviously, because yep. you want to you want to be the same every year. So we add things and kids just jump right onto it. So right. Having said that, you started out a little slow last year. I know it was a tough schedule, yeah. and you get Austin Gaines in after he has the mm-hmm. the transfer sit out period, and yep. he's able to play. You turn it around, undefeated in the league, and then sort of the the air lets out of the balloon. You lose in the playoff sure. game. How yeah. does that set the tone for this year? A lot of guys coming back. Do they sure. have that chip on their shoulder from the playoff oh, game? Oh, absolutely. Like even our JV kids, like they are they stayed around and watched the game, you mm-hmm. know, and just going off the young guys and they're I mean they came in upset you know like coach it's not gonna happen this year I said well let's just worry about Tuesday right. and <laughs> we'll worry about the rest of it later you know but it's 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 like you said it, it, we were just starting to get to know each other um, they were just learning what we wanted to do offense and defensively great phenomenal kids they want to get there get in there and learn but it was just it was going out there with another team on the clock Friday nights it was just getting used to and we had to do some adjusting as coaches you know sure and we made some good adjustments um had a rough preseason, but by league rolled around, we were we were, we were going. So, Darren, what do you think the the biggest thing that you guys learned as high school coaches was um, oh, for you as a head coach and having yeah. your brother and your dad there? Right. Um, Obviously, I, no football, but well, yeah. and that's well, the sure. thing is that yeah. like you know, I've also heard that your brother is kind of a just this football genius when it comes to the whiteboard, and sometimes. Sure. Maybe he's a little too fast for high school kids. <laughs> Did you feel like you guys maybe had to hone well, that, that in a little bit because David's so intelligent when it comes to schemes? Well, that's what's funny, man. Uh, I've been doing this for, geez, I think this is my 15th year coaching high school in general. Right. You know, And you know something for so long, and you can just get on the board and just start writing it, and you're going 100 miles an hour, and kids are like, <laughs> they don't, they don't want to raise hands. You know, I, mean? I don't want to be the nerd that raises the hand, right? But, right. you, I mean, you have to learn how to – how to talk to them, and you got to make it black and white, and you got to tell them this first, then this. And it was an adjustment period, like we've talked before, and it was it was difficult. Um, like just for Dave too, like and we, we we'd go in like our first uh, session in, in the summer, and he's up there, and we're in the back, coaches are in the back. I'm fired up, man, and and he just starts going, and he's going, and he's going, and we get done, and uh, and one of the coaches turns to me, and he was coach, uh, our, our DB coach, and he's like, so that's what it's like to be in an NFL locker room, huh? I was <laughs> like. Yeah, kind of, man. Yeah. yeah, but no, he found his wings, man. We found our way, and you know, it was, uh, it was good. I mean, it worked out. So, I mean, over the over the off season, we were like, hey, what can we do better to make it simpler, to make it, you know, just less on them, and just do it 100 miles an hour. So, for a, a program of your size, you guys got some big firepower. Obviously, Austin yeah. showed how good he is as a left-handed quarterback for right. you guys. Steven Figures is probably one of the best two-way players in the section right now. Um, oh, another yeah. guy that was a late ad for you because he had a transfer role out of BHS mm-hmm. was a guy that you knew at BHS that you really right. know now is Jeremiah Foster. Yep. When you look at those three, um, how much are you kind of leaning on them, especially with Devion Miller out for the season? Right. Now, you, 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 lean on, you lean on your seniors, that's for sure. And if one of them happens to be a young sophomore, and we got two quarterbacks. I mean – we got a pretty darn good uh, yeah. JV quarterback coming up. He's Braden Wingle, and he's six Big five. Boy. He can throw it. He can yeah. run. So I don't want to leave him out. But uh, I mean, we got some other players. But you, you lean on those guys. Those are your core guys. And honestly, I, I mean, I've learned. I've learned from Gola. If you don't have uh, senior leadership, you're not going to have a very good year. You right. got to have leaders besides just the white noise coming from the coach, just yelling and hollering, you know, to get things done. You got to have those guys, your peers, to be in there and, and telling, showing you the ropes. And they, that's what they've done a great job of this year. Austin was kind of a quiet guy coming in. Stevie wasn't really the outgoing guy. And Jeremiah was outgoing, but he just kind of needed to be uh, kind of led in the right direction kind of thing. Oh, yeah, um, we know oh, Jeremiah. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a mouth yeah. on him. Yep. It's, it's all in good fun. Uh, 
But no, just seeing the maturity. Could... Yeah, just seeing the maturity over this over this summer has been really awesome to see. And when you when when Stevie figures, I tweeted it the other day, man. This guy walked up to me while the JV was going. He's like, "Hey, coach, can I get uh, can I get on the scout team? Give him a give him a look." I said. Yeah, get in, man. I'm smiling on the inside, but I'm like, yeah, sure, go. You know, yeah. But it just fired me up, man. You know, so it was good. I, I love your schedule. I mean, because and we we talked to AJ Gas about this yesterday, but uh -huh. uh, to open up with Garces, the first time those two teams have ever played in the regular season. Sure. What a cool deal, for, just for Bakersfield and for that private school, that Christian community, to, yeah. to have that rivalry going. No, on. It, it's what's great, and we we actually got a, a couple of their kids, um, and they come down, and they're like, hey. We know these guys. We know those, and you know our guys know their guys. Mm -hmm. And some of our guys, we're going to go to their school, and then vice versa. You know, so it's a uh, it's a neat deal for the kids. As a coach, I mean, you're fired up for any football game. I mean, that's the bottom line truth. I get fired up when Derek takes the field yep. on a Thursday night preseason game. So uh, we're, we're just putting in a little work as coaches. Players are going out there and doing it. So it's just uh, any football game you get fired up for, but. A little special, you know, having the two private schools in town doing it. So. Yeah, absolutely. And then, and then you follow that up with your traditional rivalry with CVC. Yep. You have Mission Oak. That's kind of become a rivalry in Tatchby, yep. which is an old SSL opponent that you brought back. I sure. mean, not only are you getting good tests there, but you're getting different yeah. looks from those teams. Oh, too. sure, absolutely. And that's the best part. It's it's a it's a mix. It's not just all spread. Mm -hmm. It's not just all pounded down your face. You know, it's 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 mixed up. You know, and I love the Tatchby game. I, I really respect Tatchby. I used to play them at Stockdale when I was a Mustang. And right. We'd go up there, and we'd have battles, man. I mean, those kids, it don't matter who they bring in. You're going to get a battle out of those guys, you know, not looking ahead. But, you know, it's it's just fun to see those types of teams. And CBC, phenomenal coach. I love that guy. He walked up to me when I was at the away game. I we went down there last year. And just a great Christian guy. Just, hey, man, you need anything? Gave me a side. I mean, just a phenomenal guy. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, those are the things you kind of take away. But um, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good preseason, good test for us. And I know, I, I know you, Darren, and your family, and, and what you're doing is raising young guys, right? I mean, yeah, it's, the young football man. is secondary. Yeah, yeah. You want to, That's the thing, man. I send out a, you know, I send an email out every year to teachers and staff, and you know, parents and everything. I'm just look. This is what we're all about. And number one is being great Christian men, great young men. We're not raising boys. You guys already did that job. You guys are trusting us to, because we, I mean, we have them most of the day. I mean, they're at school, they're at practice, so you're trusting them with us, you know. And we're we put a lot of responsibility on them inside and outside the classroom um, and outside the, the practice field. And, you know, they, they, they either need to learn responsibility or they're going to, you know, have a rough time outside of class and football. How so. have they responded to that? Are you pretty happy with what Oh, yeah. Doing? No, it's, it's great. I mean, it's, it, you got to stay on it. You can't, you can't just do it to one kid and not another one. You know, I mean, you got to – sometimes you got to confront kids. you got to confront – you know, sometimes you got to confront those things. And, but if you're willing to do it and you love kids and you love their future, not just yours, you're not in it just for wins and all that stuff. Right. I mean – when I, when I pass away, I don't really care how many wins I had. I mean, honestly, I want to see how many kids actually got affected by what we did, you know. And that's then they do that by staying in marriages and raising kids and, you know, doing everything right the right way, you know, and raising a family of their own and doing the exact same way me and our other coaches did it, you know. Yeah. So. And you've been around long enough at BHS now to where probably you have kids coming back and you get to see oh, them in their marriages and stuff. Yeah, right? oh, that's the great that's the greatest part. Like, coming from Bakersfield High School, I was there eight years, and, you know, Coach Gold does a great job over there with the staff and players and, that's what he preaches. I mean, he preaches family, you know, and uh, and I've kind of, you know, taken to that. I mean, our family's a big family, me, Dave, and Derek, and my dad's out there coaching with us, and we're huge on family. And, we, you know, my dad's been married just this last uh, weekend, 40 years, me and wow. him, him and his wife. So Congrats my mom, to his wife, my mom. Ma mama mama so, car and papa car. Hey, right? yeah. yeah, 40 years, man. So, and uh, we just preach family, man. So, and we lead them in the right direction. Having said all that, and, yep. and, and I do, again, the football is secondary, but, but sure. that's what we're here to talk about, yeah, too. Yeah, it's fine. And Let's you guys football. are competitive. Oh, man. How good can oh, this yeah. program get? I mean, it just seems like <laughs> with, with the acumen you guys have and the talent you bring in and everything sure. else, I mean, um, what, what is the ceiling for Bakersfield Christian football? Well, here's the thing, man. It's, it, it's cliche. We take it one day at a time, man, and we're going to do things the right way, period, bottom line. And I told when I was interviewed to get the job, I told them, we're going to do things the right way. They told me the same thing. I mm -hmm. said, and God blesses those things. We're going to put him first, and we're going to try and keep our ego out of things. You know, when you want something, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And honestly, if, you, I mean, if you're a Christian man, you believe in those things, you believe that God's got everything planned for you. There's really nothing you need to really worry about. As a human, you worry about things. But as for your football team, as long as you're working and you're doing your job and you're working tough, you know, and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, God's going to bless you with those things. So, Trevor, he's not going to say it. I'm going to say it. I don't think there is a limit on this program. <laughs> I, I think they no, can No, and really I don't good. think so either. I think yeah. that, you know, obviously 
you bring in Darren and David and Roger and you bring in the star power that they have as a name. Um, they've obviously shown that they can coach football. Don't forget the hype man. Yeah, oh, yeah, hype man. Yeah. I'm sorry about yeah, that. Upset. <laughs> um, you know, obviously, the talent came in yeah. and followed them there. But it's it, it's about keeping that tradition going. I think that you guys are building on something. Darren, when you look at these guys, we've yeah. talked about your star power guys. Who are guys that are going to be household names come October and November for you? Yeah, you mean just young guys in general? guys? Just know guys about? that you yeah. know that are going to step up and play some sure. good football and you know be good leaders for you. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we had – we had three, and we had four transfers come in from two out of state. But we, I mean, we had some kids come in, just offensive line wise. There's a kid that we have named Calvin Urosic. Uh, I jack his name up all the time, and I apologize, but he plays <laughs> left guard. Big boy. He played out at yeah. He played out at Bellevue um, in Seattle. Came down, phenomenal yes sir no sir guy. Will do anything you want. You know he's just a great guy. Um, that's a kid you can watch out for. Um, Tabor Nylander. I mean just all the unsung O linemen man and. Tyler Sweeney, uh, Brett Schuler, um, Jonah Rogers. We have a bunch of bunch of guys coming up from our JVs that are really going to give us a good shot. And, and there's Alan Ronk. I mean, just I, can, I mean I can keep going, but I mean just look for those guys. Anybody Alex, else? Alex Wallace. Anybody he'll be, else? He'll be starting as a sophomore. Anybody else at this point? Uh, no, that's that's about it. Okay, that's, that's it. it. Yeah, that's let, all. Let it. him get on his roster. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. We, we again we talked in the break a little bit about your league, and that's one thing you learned about last year. Sure. I think Taft surprised people with how good they were in your yeah. first year under George Falgut. They gave you a different look. That double wing. Yeah. Uh, Caesar Chavez doesn't have Casey Quinn, but boy, they got mm -hmm. some talent. RFKs won two section titles in a row. Sure. What do you make of the league? Uh, and, and it's it, I, I love the SSL. I think it's so <laughs> cool. You have so many different environments in these small town schools and everything. You do. Um, where, where do you guys fit in, and what do you think of the league? Um, I mean, I mean, it's not. It's okay for us to think highly of ourselves, right? You know, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, we're working, man. You know, the the league is great. It's. Uh, I love that they run the ball so much. Maybe our DB coach doesn't so much. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a D line guy, so I kind of like you yeah. know mixing it up. But uh, it's good, man. It's a good mix of of coaches, and we got a couple new coaches. Um, the Taft guys in the second year, right? Yeah. Chavez is new. Chavez is new guy. That's right. Um, so. I mean, they, they're they in the same boat I was in last year. You know, Gerald just at Shafter's. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah Perucci. And, I mean, he's done it. He's been to a state championship. They know what they're doing, you know. So, it's gonna it's a good league, man. It's good. I enjoy it. Well, Darren Carr, uh, you know, we think you guys are doing a great job, too. And you showed it last year, that seven-game winning streak. And, uh, and and real good things on the horizon. Austin Gaines at quarterback. And you mentioned he, he's certainly not the only guy even at that position. So, yeah, yeah. You, you've, you've got it going on. Uh, yeah. We are going to let you go, and, and we appreciate you coming in and, and taking the time to join us. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Cool. Thanks, Darren Carr, Bakersfield Christian. We will be right back. We're into our final hour here on the B-Varsity Coaches Super Show. Brett Shelton of Stockdale. Stockdale grad right here. Stockdale coach coming in uh, next for the Mustangs here on B-Varsity Live.